What's going on YouTube? It's your boy O-D-D-M-N-E. And today we got expensive items Juice World owned before he died. Rest in peace to the legend, man. I seen it was like one of these times where back then where he did die where his girlfriend was just giving his shit away and when her new nigga wear juice shit I said you got to be a disrespectful bitch but without that being said let's gonna get here get started with the video make sure to watch my boy district trending and yeah let's get started with Juice World living the rich and fast life during his career, he bought all of the dream cars, jewelry, and houses that he ever wanted. After becoming one of the biggest artists in the entire world from 2018 and onwards, he grew a fast net worth of up to $4 million in just two years. This has only continued to grow since he sadly passed for his family. But starting out with his luxurious Rolls Royce Cullinan, he purchased this ride for over $330,000. Mm, Okay, juice. Got some taste. Okay. Only does the Cullinan come with a very unique design that Rolls Royce brings, but it also has unique features like the backward opening doors or the sparkling starlit ceiling on the inside. However, it was just more fashionable for Juice because he wanted a car to feel safe in while driving. This is why he also purchased the extra security features for the ride, which includes the super thick doors that are firearm proof, including the thick windows for extra protection. Not to mention he added customized rims to the vehicle as well. When factoring all of the costs of the upgrades, Juice spent well over 400 grand for the premium ride. However, Juice also made a splurge to get himself a very fast supercar. This would be none other than his 2019 Lamborghini Huracan. Juice had a passion for growing a car collection for himself, so it is no wonder that he purchased one of the most iconic supercars in the world. With the Huracan speeding over 200 miles an hour, it easily did the job when it came to going fast. Following up on his Huracan purchase, Juice World also bought himself a Corvette for another 120 grand as his daily driver. But something Juice always had a passion for was dirt bikes and ATVs. He enjoyed and loved going off-roading with all of his friends, so he would go out and purchase 10 dirt bikes that he can bring all of his friends off-roading with them. W mans, you love to see it, bruh. Putting his niggas on, letting him have fun with him. W man's bro, no cap whatsoever. W man's. This is the baby right here. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I'm on my mama number, big boy. Like, yeah, this the one right here. The red bull one, y'all. Yeah. On everything. No cap, man. Yeah. Ah, this one right there. I know this one, yay. This one right here. With Juice Roll dropping stacks of cash on vehicles and a lot more that we'll share later in the video, his most important thing ever was looking out for his family as he wanted to make sure all of his family members were okay with the opportunity that he was given in the music industry. Money don't equal happiness, but at the same time, being financially stable knocks off some stress in your life. So it kind of add on to the happiness, but it don't equal it, obviously. I mean... Facts from Juice, facts from Juice. With Juice World's Spotify streams only continuing to break records even after years of leaving us, he's been continuously making a ridiculous amount of money for his family. This money has all gone into real estate. But even when Juice World was alive, he still purchased real estate on his own as he would buy and live inside of his 2019 dream home. This would be not... That month. Like a look. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. My bad for looking down at my phone, but damn, boy got the pool, he got the garage, he got 
How many bedrooms? I need and a four million dollar mansion in California. The house features six bedrooms, a chef's kitchen with a top of the line appliances, including a completely soundproof mm. home theater to sit and relax in. Not to mention the large swimming pool in the backyard. This mansion was everything that Juice World dreamed for, and he would even mention so on Instagram Live. Hey, Juice World, oh, crib. Talk about. I don't think I have this. Like this is my crib, bro. I came from nothing, man. Yo, I come from nothing, though. It made something out of nothing. You know, see, look quiet, though, but I feel like Meek Mill and this something. I feel, man, it's an accomplishment. As not long after he secured himself the mansion, he would also purchase his mother a $2 million home back in Chicago. As mm. since purchasing, a majority of his family are now living in the mansion with his mother. As he would even share a video online of the first time that they were in the house together. You can repay your mama for everything that she did for you. you feel me? See, speaking of my mama, here she come right now. Mom, come on. I was just telling everybody about your house and the world. I got my mama my house. Of course, I'm gonna tell the world I got my mama my house. Juice's mother, Carmela, was incredibly grateful for her son's success. We heard the recording of her during the intro of his song, Relocate, as she would thank him for all that he has ever done for her. It was with the continued success of his music after his passing that she would be able to relocate houses once again, this time purchasing a ridiculous $8 million mansion in 2022. This house stretches across 17,000 square feet and has just about every accommodation that you could ever want inside of one home from having a jaw-dropping exterior with a huge circular heated driveway to even a movie theater room not to mention what juice world would have loved was an indoor basketball court with the chicago bulls logo and the inside as a very modern black and white interior furnished with tons of couches for the living room and a large aisle in the center of the kitchen with an indoor patio off of the back of the home however moving on from the eight digit real estate portfolio that juice world's career has made he also loves spending money on jewelry whenever he could. One of the best pieces of his collection is this cross in Rose's chain. This piece My bad, y'all. <clears throat> I just woke up like a few minutes ago. That that's how dedicated I am, but ooh, that bit looks features a huge cross pendant covered in VVS diamonds, as well as roses on top that are also made up of very rare pink diamonds. Then to match the unique pendant, the necklace consists of iced out spheres connected to a complete look of the beautiful chain. Now this ultimately costed Juice well over $200,000 for the piece, but sadly he only got to wear it a handful of times. Another necklace Juice was constantly wearing, however, was this beautiful Chanel pearl necklace that goes for $8,000. Getting into Juice World's watch game, he has easily spent well over 400 grand on them alone. His favorite timepiece would be the AP. He customized it fully with VVS diamonds encrusted into the watch. This is an estimated $150,000. But just having the AP watch was not icy enough for him. He would then end up doing the exact same thing to a Rolex two-tone watch, costing him once again another 150 grand. But the final big ticket watch that he purchased was the AP Royal Oak chandelier piece holding over 70 carats of baguette diamonds to give off the chandelier effect. This costed Juice World a quarter million dollars for the piece. This isn't even to mention just the basic versions of the watches that he had. From other Rolex Submariners, Two Tones, Daytonas, the list goes on. Juice World has spent a ridiculous amount of money on jewelry. Damn. Much like his passion for crazy watches, Juice also loved designer clothing and shoes. You'd always see him wearing something new when in public, and when he hopped on Complex for shoe shopping, he also broke the record for the amount spent, clocking in at $42,000 on shoes and clothes all at one time. This beat out Future's record of $39,000. Even though Juice World might have gone a little crazy when it came to spending his wealth, he also made sure to give it all back to his fans and charities back home in Chicago. Every 
thing that you're going through, I, I got you. I'm here. I'm holding your hand just like this. Juice World made a priority to give back to the youth and help out the people in his community. He even went back and donated to the school that he attended when growing up, giving them tons of money for musical instruments and other things. Even when Juice sadly passed, his mother realized just how big of an effect that he had on people in the world. You know, after he passed, I just was receiving, receiving such an outpouring of just how he changed their lives. And I felt like it was a void. So she went on to create the Live Free 999 Foundation. This helps support programs to help people dealing with mental health issues. And even though Juice sadly passed, his impact on the world continues to live on. From averaging nearly 30 million monthly Spotify listeners, his family's lives have been changed for... Man, oh, made me shut a tear. That's the end of the video, bro. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, bro. Ed. That man made an impact for real, for real. Appreciate you doing one on you. Oh, God. Oh, God, bro. 999 game. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. That's, that shit crazy. He did all that. Oh. No, nah, don't, don't worry about me, but... <laughs> Rest in peace, Juice, man. Shout out to him. Without that being said, it's your boy ODT, man, signing out. Eating.